If there was one artist today that you think Frank Zappa would have loved, who would that artist be? Justin Timberlake. Really? I do think so. That's such a, I would have never, <laughs> I would have been like, I, I don't know who I would have thought of, but I don't know if it would have been JT. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Why is that? I don't know. I just, I think uh, he was, he was uh, just such a fan of, uh, I mean, he's an entrepreneur and I think he was a fan of entrepreneurial humans, but he also just like sounds an excellence. So I think that JT uh, has, has those qualities. We'll see. We'll see. It's a I long just, road. It's a long road. <laughs> I just saw Billy Ray Cyrus in here a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about how when he was raising Miley, how he had, you know, these famous country stars literally in his basement, and they would just be hanging out. Did you have any crazy stories like that? Like, are you growing up and, hey, Mick Jagger's in my freaking basement at the moment? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do have stories like that. Yes, we had a groupie that was moved in when I was about five. Uh, that was that was awkward. <laughs> That was awkward at the dinner table. <laughs> oh my God. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Any fun artists that ended up hanging out? Yeah, but they didn't. They were just my dad's weird friends, like Bob Dylan stopped by, Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> the Captain story on the phone that I like. Oh, yeah. so Captain Beefheart came to the house once, and he had he had uh, he had, he'd had a freshly uh, uh, like a tunneled a hole in his nose that he'd done with a sharpened pencil. And he just made his nose into a whistle. And so he's coming to demonstrate the instrument he just made with his face. And, um, and I was like, oh, dad and your friends that are so weird. <laughs>